anyway just checking to see who's here joining me so anyway we are going to have a little bit of dinner a little bit of wine and a little bit of halloween fun Hi everyone, I'm Nancy and welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys so much for stopping in, spending a few minutes of your day with me. I know sometimes I ramble on and I take more of your time than I, I wanted to. So thank you guys so much for putting up with me and spending that extra time with me. It really does mean a lot to me. I hope that everyone is having a great week. I ended up going to the grocery store this week to pick up some things that I wanted to make for wine, my wine diaries and just groceries and definitely I need a coffee creamer so I went on Wednesday and by Friday yeah I lost my voice again I was sick again so yeah I don't know what it is I thought maybe the herbal teas were going to help me get some strength back and things but I think it's just going to take a little bit of time but anyway I feel fine I'm just tired and Maybe that's something that just doesn't go away from from the COVID. Maybe you just never get your strength back and just something you just have to live with. So anyway, wine helps, right? Well, good coffee. Good coffee in the morning. Wine at night helps to relax. Good fun. Relax. Anyway, you know how I feel about dressing up, whether it's fancy hats, Kentucky Derby hats, or fascinators, and, and just, just fun things. It's just... It just adds a little bit of fun, takes a little bit of the dreariness out of the everyday, today things, and it might be crazy, but yeah, I think it's helped keeping me young. But anyway, today we are going to be doing another wine diary, so thank you so much for joining me. And we're going to be doing another one of these Halloween little pools from the children's network like I said I'm not going to be doing a video every day but I just go on and I'll just pick them as I go so I'm excited to do this and again this was uh, 31 days of Halloween sponsored by children's and network and for a 31 dollar contribution or more I don't know if it's still going on um, I'm sure they will always take contributions I just don't know if they have any of the limited edition countdown calendars left I wonder if they have a kind of a Christmas that would be good because yeah I would definitely do that so for $31 I got this awesome box um, I already opened up one of door number one so I'm ready to open up door number two well you know I got it in my hand I might as well get it done right so door number two is right here so anyway I hope you guys are having a fun fun week um, these are always going to probably more than likely post on a Friday not the Friday that I do it, but the Friday. Oh, oh my gosh, Baby Ruth. This is one of my favorite candy bars. It's one of my dentist's favorite candy bars, too. He loves it when I go on Baby Ruth's binges. Yeah, I have no idea why. Yeah, I do. Anyway, Baby Ruth, really, really good. So anyway, for $31, I got this. Looking forward to, I, I hope I'm on their mailing list so that they will remind me again next year. Again, it's a good cause for the Children's Network Hospitals just really really fun so anyway I just opened up my wink diary no I didn't I opened up my wink wine and so the one I had is going to go perfect with this chowder that I've been thinking about since I had the New England clam chowder a few weeks ago so I went out this week and I got like bacon and I got some clams and I got an onion and pepper and some celery and some other things that I needed the tomatoes and chicken broth so I made my own soup today my own manhattan style clam chowder I'm dying to try it it's been cooking on the stove all day my whole house smells like seafood i can't wait to clean up and get rid of that smell i mean it's nice when it's cooking but you don't want to smell it the next day you know what i mean so anyway i've got my halloween gear on and this i think will go good for like when you celebrate maybe cinco de mayo and then the other one that they have the day of the dead i went downstairs to see if i could find a kind of quick fix my quick find my days 
Oh my gosh, what is wrong with me? So I went downstairs to go through some of my nutcrackers that I put away earlier this year because I wanted to find my ones for the Day of the Dead people and I couldn't find them so I must have wrapped them up and put them at the bottom of the pile. But anyway, this is my dress that I'm wearing today. So it's got the Day of the Dead. It's got this tie on. It does have some pockets here. It's this kind of fit and flare dress or whatever. I've got my petticoat on underneath. I think I need a black one. But anyway, it's just a fun little dress. Got this little necklace. I think I got this from Amazon. And these earrings from Shane. I think this is from Amazon, but I'm not positive. And I didn't mention it before, but look at the little kitty cat I got right here. Right. He's on my, my little backdrop. Just a fun little backdrop. I've got little clothing here. Oh, my little wine bottle almost fell over. So I put him on an empty wine bottle, so in case he fell, he wouldn't make a mess. A little costume, a little mix between Dracula and a skeleton. I got my Walking Dead tin. Anyway, you're not here for that, are you? We are here for wine. Wine and dinner. So we are going to have the wine that I just opened with my wink, this Latelia do Sud. It's a gammy wine from France. It said that it would go with like pasta with, with red sauce. I made the Manhattan chowder made with the tomato sauce. I thought that would be awesome. For my snacks, I made um, the salt and pepper calamari. I used about a third of this package. And I love the calamari and it comes with its own sauce. It's kind of like a tangy sauce. I wasn't too sure if I wanted that sauce. So I did um, put on some tartar sauce. Whoops, fell in the thing. So I've got my calamari right here. I got a little bit of seafood stuff, cocktail sauce. I got some tartar sauce and then the uh, dipping sauce that came with it. And this is what the calamari looks like. It's nice and crusty with the salt and pepper breadcrumbs, breadcrumbs on it. And for dipping in my chowder, a little garlic breadstick. And oh, this chowder. It smells amazing. I didn't have any frozen vegetables. Usually I like to add like carrots or something like that in there. And you probably can't see too much, but I've got, I bought some clams and then I chopped them up, cooked them and chopped them up. I got bacon in here, onions and some peppers. I got some chopped celery. I just got a can of potatoes cause yeah, I'm lazy. So I cut up some potatoes and put in there and some fresh garlic, some tomato sauce, um, crushed tomatoes, some tomato paste and some clam juice. And looking forward to and then I put some Parmesan cheese. I wasn't sure if you're supposed to put that on top, but I figured I would. So with my snacks, I thought I would start with one of these bottles from I'm just call it gonna call it drink easy because yeah, I don't know how to say it with the J in there. And this one came from that I got like three boxes a while ago, little six packs. This one is a Riesling. It's from Washington State, 2019. Riesling and I thought that would go good with the I thought that would go good with the calamari and then switch over to the gammy wine with my chowder I like these because they're, they're they're small so you don't have that whole bottle sitting in your refrigerator for for years because yeah they pick up on you because you can't drink it all by yourself I mean you can but you what would you want to you'll be sick all right, so I just put it in this little Halloween glass. Mmm, smells crisp, feels light. Maybe apples. Cheers, everyone. Mmm, that is nice. So I'm gonna say apples, some pears in there, maybe a little bit of grapefruit, maybe some lemon in there. It's dry, but it does have that little bit of a sweet tang. And, okay, I'm going to try the sauce first. Cheers. It is good. It's crunchy. It's more like a, a sweet and sour sauce like you would use with maybe like wontons or egg rolls, something like that. All right, let's try one. Ooh, this is a big one. You know, when I used to work at Howard Johnson's for years, I don't know if you guys remember them or not. I started out as a waitress and went into the bar and then for some stupid reason I went into management. Yeah, don't do that. 
you make a lot more money attending bar than you do being a manager but because you, you just you had to pitch in everywhere which was fun I mean it made the whole day go by I know I, there were other managers that I worked with that they just sat in their office they didn't do anything but probably because I worked as a waitress I worked in the as a bartender I just you pitched in you you helped you moved people along so you did the cash register you helped the cook when he was backed up you seated people you cleaned tables you did the dishes you helped with prep work you made the day go by first fast but they had Wednesday and Friday clam fries do you guys remember that clam and fish fries and most of the time you had just the clam strips that they used to even sell in the store at Sour Johnson's but when we got the fresh clams oh my god they people loved them but it was gross to cook them I mean they were so tasty but you would get these big buckets of the fresh clams and you would put your hands in there and it was like squishy eyeballs or something but oh my god they were so good love fried clams alrighty so I got the tartar sauce on this one sorry about that It tastes more traditional, like something that I'm used to growing up in New England, having clams with the tartar sauce. Alrighty, let's try one with the cocktail sauce, the red cocktail sauce. I think this one was just like Heinz 57 or something like that, which is something I would use more like with shrimp, like a shrimp cocktail or something. But I wanted to try it with a calamari too. Cheers. Mmm. I think my favorite is with the calamari sauce. But they're all good. And it goes good with the wine. Alrighty. It's now my chowder that's been cooking all day. I couldn't like spaghetti sauce. I love it when my sauce cooks all day long. And I did have some fresh basil that I picked up. So I had that in there too. I did put in some Italian seasonings. I put in some salt and some pepper. I'm going to have had some fresh garlic in there. And I cooked the garlic when I did like the onions and the, the peppers, the celery, and the bacon. And that, oh my God, I love that smell. Alrighty. I'm looking for some clam bits. Okay, this is a big, big chunk big junk everyone mm. I just that is good it warms the soul gonna have another bite but I lost my wine so this is the the Talia de Sud the gammy wine it's supposed to go with like red pasta sauces so I thought perfect for the Manhattan chowder Mm. Good. It's a nice dry wine. A little bit of fruit in it, like black cherry, and some raspberry, cranberry that's tart back here. But I think it's a nice contrast. So anyway, that is and my garlic breadstick. So anyway, that is everything in my dinner tonight. So I am so glad that you guys stopped in and joined me. Oh my gosh, you guys are amazing. I got my baby Ruth candy bar. My dessert. I'm so excited. So anyway, I love getting to see you guys in Halloween season, fall season. It's just so much fun. I'm looking forward to ugly Christmas sweater dress season. Yeah, I love that too. So anyway, thank you guys so much for stopping in, spending a little bit of time with me. You guys are amazing and you mean the world to me. Thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. If you're new to my channel, please consider hitting that little red subscribe button over there. I'd love to have you come back and join us for future videos. I hope you guys give this video a thumbs up. Your comments, of course, are always welcome. And uh, I can't wait to see you guys again. So anyway, I am probably going to clean up and take a nap. And then I'm going to try to edit these. But anyway, I want to thank you guys so much again. You guys mean everything. So anyway, take care, everyone. Stay safe. Be kind. Be happy. Enjoy life. Have some fun.
Love you guys, and we will see you in the next video. Thanks. Love you guys. Bye-bye.